If you meet a girl at a bar and she says, bet I can drink more than you, she's probably wrong. But if she says, I bet you $200 I can chug 16 ounces of room temperature natural light faster than you, and she has two friends swimming behind her, she's, she's right. R slash suspiciously specific. Foreign things are just a little too specific. If there really are unlimited realities, there is one where you blacked out with your friends after a wild Friday night and woke up cuffed in the back of a horse-drawn wagon on your way to Helgen to face Imperial Justice. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? My brother pouring salt from the shaker directly in his mouth at a Mongolian barbecue. My mom. Me who dared him to do it. Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon. You can turn into a robot. You can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and sulk outside your estranged father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. Y'all ever just take a cold shower in the dark on all fours and grow unpleasurably pretending you're a wet rhino on the African savanna during the first rain in years? Dude, how did you know? I am gay, straight, bisexual, asexual, pissed off by people who tell me to stop bouncing my leg because it's annoying. Shut the f*** up, Brandon. I'm sorry you don't have ADHD. What do you want me to do? Stop tapping and explode? Ah, uh, shaky leg syndrome sucks. I, uh, I feel ya, man. I feel ya. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you ever stood in your kitchen shoveling shredded mozzarella into your mouth straight from the bag like a goblin who's just escaped after being held captive underground for 47 years and broken into a store that specifically only sells bags of shredded cheese? Yeah, but only after 2am. Kazoos. Five stars. They're crap, but it's quantity over quality. Pass them out at a protest against the Westboro Baptist Church to drown them out. Not the loudest on their own, but when you've got 70 odd angry queers kazooing in unison... Well... I can say from personal experience that it is very hard to win an argument when someone is kazooing at you. Doctor, seeing scratches all over my back. Well, I can see you're sexually active. Me. Remembering drunkenly mistaking a raccoon for Yoda and putting in my backpack to train me as a Jedi. Oh, oh yeah, I did like a hundred of the sex so far. Alright, so hear me out. Imagine if your roommate made you watch a movie and left ten minutes into it. Dick move, right? My point is, old people shouldn't get to vote. When you take LSD at the family reunion and your mom calls you a failure? Excuse me, I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. Now pet friendly. Except for bears. We're not making that mistake again. I need to know more. Hey, uh, question for a friend. How long does someone have to be dead before it's considered archaeology instead of grave robbing? Again, for a friend. Why is it that if a girl sleeps around, she's called a slut, but if a guy sleeps around, he's remembered as a great warrior who pillaged and conquered much of Northeast Asia in 1206 AD, founding the vast Mongol Empire while also taking 500 wives resulting in 16 million descendants? You found a suitcase full of 750 k in cash in $100 bills in the brush next to the highway. You can tell that it's been there for at least a year. How would you integrate this money into your life without raising red flags? Asking hypothetically, of course. Dear residents, due to the recent actions of a specific tenant, we have been forced to update our community rules. Please find these new rules below. 1. No trash bags placed outside your door. 2. No loud music after 10 p.m. 3. No yodeling at any time. 4. Do not feed the squirrels nachos. 
5. Do not change the sign for the fitness center so it reads fatness center. 6. Do not pull out Yu-Gi-Oh cards and threaten to send residents to the shadow realm. <laughs> 7. Do not climb other people's balconies while drunkenly yelling, I am Spider-Man. 8. No zip lines. 9. Do not place rent checks in a bear trap outside of rental office. 10. Do not make rent checks out to... <laughs> <laughs> you greedy mother... 11. Do not yell at the moon. 12. Do not enter the laundry room in a luchador mask and attempt to wrestle other residents. 13. No trick-or-treating unless you are a kid and it is Halloween. 14. Do not yell, order up, and throw hot dogs at people as they walk past your window. 15. Do not attach basketball hoops above residents' doors, knock, and then <laughs> And then dunk on them when they <laughs> answer. Moving forward, failure to abide by these rules will be grounds for eviction. Thank you, management. I have got to meet this guy. Hotel stapler, do not microwave. There is... There is a reason this label is here. And I want to know that reason. I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you can eat lasagna in the shower if you want to. It's not illegal. They can't arrest you. Go and be free. Hey John, guess what I'm gonna do with the lasagna you made me? <laughs> I'm not a player, I'm a gamer. Players get chicks. I get in trouble with my mom for having Garfield BDSM on my PC. <laughs> hey John. Tornado safety, do's and don'ts. Do seek shelter. Don't stand outside holding a pair of nunchucks yelling, bring it on asshole. Do stay away from windows. Don't. Use a series of electric wind fans to try to steer the tornado towards your ex's house. Do bring animals indoors. Don't try to stab a tornado with a wooden stake. That is vampires. You are thinking of vampires. Do listen for weather updates. Don't get attached. The tornado will eventually leave you just like everything else in your miserable life. Gen Z culture is debating if it's milk before cereal or vice versa in class and then having that one kid come in and go, <laughs> I put my bleach before cereal, and then dabbing as the rest of the class laughs and goes, same, while your Gen X teacher looks horrified. Oddly specific yet oddly relatable, or in other words, same. You ever see a car with a paw print sticker on the back and you don't know whether it's Brenda with three kids and a golden retriever? Or... Vorwolf69 with a massive bad dragon collection. Some of you are about to make very poor mistakes in your Google search history. Yeah, being freshly single cool until your ex-girlfriend's burned and almost unrecognizable corpse is standing in the corner of your room at night, telling you the crash was your fault in a voice that can only be described as a hundred clicking beetles working in unison to create syllables. The crash was your fault. That sounded more like Donald Duck choking on an apple. Alright, so imagine being held at gunpoint bear with me, by a literal animal, and the only hope of rescue is, bear with me, tweeting a coded message. Hmm, nothing suspicious here. Ah, <sighs> You ever smell the air and it smells like the fourth grade scholastic book fair on a chill Tuesday in October of 2009? Do schools still do scholastic book fairs, or did they stop doing that when Fortnite came out? Feeling depressed? Just remember, there is someone out there getting friend-zoned by a girl who wears cat ears to school. Of course I know him, he's me. <laughs> <laughs> 
self-care is slathering yourself in baby oil and sliding down the seventh lane in your local bowling alley, so the mechanical pin setter will pick you up and take you to the forbidden place behind the bowling lanes where you can meet God but only on Tuesdays. What's even better is that considering how brutishly powerful the mechanical pin setters are, if you do this, you probably will meet God. No matter if it's a Tuesday or not. What screams I'm upper class? Hosting parties every night all summer in your house while you spy on the married woman across the river that used to love you, waiting to meet someone at those parties who knows the married woman so that you can be reintroduced and fall in love again and regain what you lost. Well, uh, I guess you could say this post has a <clears throat> green light from me. Get it? I, uh, I destroyed some kid on FIFA and he just sent me this. I bet your dad is so disappointed. Who wants to raise a man who plays with Madrid? Do you always take the lazy way? Do you work at Target and go to the local community college? I bet he asks you how that degree is coming like three times a month. It's always the same though, isn't it? The tinge of shame, then a small outburst. I'm working on it, dad, and my app is going to take off. But there is no app, is there? There's no hope. Just loneliness. You guys ever get a really specific fortune cookie that really doesn't make a lot of sense? Live every day like it's your last before you die from a drive-by crossbowing at 8.39am tomorrow. I don't know, I just can't seem to find the hidden message in this one. Flaw, 18. I'm looking for a guy who is really trusty and healthy. You must have both kidneys, non-smoker, and not be a big drinker or take any drugs that could damage the liver. Typo negative blood a plus. ESFP. Ah, sorry, I think I'm an INTJ or ENFP. Either way, I don't think we're compatible. The rumor that I'm secretly creating a zombie apocalypse to generate demand for flamethrowers is completely false. You need millions of zombies for a so-called apocalypse anyway. Where would I even get a factory big enough to make so many? I don't know, Elon. Where would you? Some financial tips. Pay off your min credit card payments. Create a budget. Save a portion of each paycheck. Oh, none of this working? Then it's heist time, baby. Get the gang back together. One last job. Then you can all retire. You did it. But at what cost? Rick died in the heist. Do the liking and subscribing stuff so that way I feel justified by complete strangers to stay up to unreasonable hours drinking high amounts of caffeine while inevitably getting the video demonetized by YouTube because it doesn't quite fit the advertising guidelines which is unbelievably f***ing vague and not quite fair to be honest with you. See y'all next time.